Hello everybody, how's it going today? John here with the Code Scroll Shop Portrait Design and Woodworks. So, um, if anybody is interested, <laughs> I'm going to post my links for my crochet show. And uh, you guys can go over and check it out. And uh, if you're not interested, go over and check it out. And uh, <laughs> like it and subscribe to it and, and hit that uh, all button. And uh, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll post the links in a minute. I gotta, I gotta get them up first. Oh, uh, stall slow mo. Just give me a sec. I'll check it out a second here. Uh, boo, 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 boo. There it is. I'm just trying. I'm, I was trying out settings, Marty. Black. Well, okay, Marty. Do you, do you plan on uh, saying hi every more than ten seconds? Somebody, I if you are, I want you to just do like a whole story in the side page there, okay? Okay, go. Uh, hey, Annie, hey, Adele, hey, Herb, hey, Art, hey, uh, Connie's got a show on right now. Um, and I'm interrupting her time. Um, Adele, Annie, Art. Herb, Connie, Marty, and that's it. Oh, uh, apparently Wade left the group too last night or this morning. I don't, uh, I don't know why. But <clears throat> after Mishi's comment, I don't know. So anyway, um, uh, drama going on in YouTube. Just stay out of it. Just don't don't even bring up drama. I'm just so tired of it right now. Uh, hey Jess, hey Larry, um, but hey Joe. Hey Joe. Um, so if uh, uh, you guys got anything else going on, let me know. Uh, any comment, questions, comments, inquiries in the chat about woodworking? Let me know. <laughs> I haven't even paid for crocheting, and uh, I guess I guess surprise everybody. And uh, let me know what's going on. Um, on the panel, we got uh, Art with us. Hey Art, how's it going? Hey everybody. Hello Adele, John, Crafty Annie, Herb. Uh, Connie, well, I gotta get down here now. Larry, Joe, Jessica, how y'all doing tonight? Uh, I'm gonna work on a saxophone, I'm gonna do it from start to finish. There we go. A saxophone, yep, it's a saxophone. A saxophone, and, yep, and that's what we're gonna do. Tonight. Homer calls it a saxophone. Yeah, well, I'm not Homer. I'm just a little. No. I'm just a little Art Nichols. I'm not Art. I'm Nichols now. Wait, Connie says she's I here. heard you doing. Huh? I heard you doing some diamond painting. I heard you doing some diamond painting. You should you grab that show, everybody. All yeah, right. we all want to see it. Okay. I'll I'll take the. The little plastic part off that's sticking to this. Uh, yep, I started this yesterday. All that's left is uh, over here with that bird, right over here. Just those three flowers and the bird, and, and that's all that's left. I did the rest of it yesterday. So it's, uh, it's all done, except for that little bit. Unbelievable. Thank you. Making it for a friend. Marty Marty says she plays sax. <laughs> really, Mar really, Marty? But sax. That's, that's, this is my other hobby. Sax, water volleyball, motorcyclist, great grandma. What else do you do? What else do you do, Marty? Walk. Walk a million miles a day. Unbelievable. Hey, Cliff, what are you up to? Hi, John Art Herb, Adele, Larry, Larry, Marty, Annie, Joe, Jack, uh, uh, Jay. Uh, is that everybody? How the hell are y'all? I took a break and did uh, uh, work and listened to lives. And I don't know if I'm going to do a damn thing tonight or not, but it's nice to see you. <laughs> Not good. You can read the chat. 
Hey, Marty, you lie. Oh, Marty, you're also a scroll sawyer. You're also a scroll sawyer. Why don't you just freaking say that too? Oh, oh, and I dabble in scroll sawing. Oh, and I make puzzles. Freaking Marty. Also, propane and propane and shit. Yeah. Uh, so, if you guys are all interested, and you're probably not, though. Um, here is my uh, YouTube crochet page. Hooks, whips, and chains. And uh, I also got a Facebook page. It's called uh, Hooks, whips, and chains. <laughs> oh, JJ. And coming soon will be my Instagram page as well. For um, crochet. <laughs> Excuse me. But uh, I was in a chat with uh, Bonnie, and she's like, "Oh, if you go to Dollar Tree, look at all this cool yarn you can get at Dollar Tree." She's like, keep, keep, keep. I'm like, "Well, I don't care. She's going to Dollar Tree because she does cards at Dollar Tree for Hallmark." She goes. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I just asked her. I said, well, I'll ask her the next time she's going to Dollar Tree and baby up some yarn. So, uh, I get her to Dollar Tree today. <laughs> and Carrie sends me a picture. She goes, oh, well, they got yarn here. What, what, how much do you want? I said, get it all. She goes, are you serious? I'm like, well, as much as you can. So, I got a couple bags of yarn. <laughs> yeah, it's starting. And it has stopped raining, so hopefully I don't get kicked off tonight. Hello, Bonbon. Hey, hey Bonbon. So I know it, it, it's not the crochet show, but you know, like I don't know how many how many balls did she get me? <laughs> Hello, Lydia. Uh, there's Hello, the receipt. Lydia. There's the receipt. So. Good lord. Not quite a bit. Um, just Chanel two. Just yarn, turquoise, three of them. Oh, turquoise. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20 balls of uh, acrylic yarn. You made a lot of progress last night. Our little boys are growing up. Hello, Joe. You looked all consistent and such. But this blue Hello, almost Mark. matches my eyes. Look at that. It almost matches my eyes. What? Nothing's that, that beautiful. Uh, hey, look. It almost matches my eyes. I'm just going to do like a like a big eyeball. <laughs> Actually, Cliff, they're darker green than that, but that's all yeah. I have. Mine go between. I call mine gray because they go between greens and blues. Mine are, mine are bright green. You just can't see them with. Being four-eyed. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm going to make a big eyeball with, with the blue of my eyes. And I'm going to start with a magic circle. Magic circle. <clears throat> Bonnie is choosing law and order over us for a little bit, but we will try to forgive her. Priorities. Yeah. Hello, Liz. Hello, Liz. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I said hey to Bonbon. Bon. Hey, Lydia. Uh, hey Liz, how you doing? And uh, oh, so there, oh, yeah. Jojo, I'm gonna call her Jojo. Yeah, Jojo. Mm -hmm. Jojo, Bon Bon, Marty, 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 Marty. Just, just Mar -mar. Just, Mar -mar. Mar -mar. Liz, Liz, JJ. Mar -mar. Uh, Mar -mar. Mar -mar. Mar -mar. Bon Bon, Adele, Adele. Adele, Adele the Bell. Lair, Lair. I saw your, Jojo. your tour, uh, Billy. That was. That was cool, man. You you ought to get into woodworking. You seem to have a knack for it. Oh, Billy? <laughs> yeah, he did everything but build the damn lathe. He's work. I know that some bitch is talented, but don't tell him I said that. I got a reputation. I'm sure he would build a lathe <laughs> if he had the ability. Yeah, he's very. You're right, Cliff. He's very good at what he does. Yeah, he is. Very good. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> Hold my beer. I try not to build people's egos up too high. You gotta keep, you know, you keep them a little humble. 
Uh, butter their ears to walk their doors. Well, John, you kind of built mine up that one day talking about the good thing. Talking about what? I said you built mine up that day talking about the pig I made you. Well, yeah, because it's bacon. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there are limits, right? It, it's yeah. like uh, you know, it, it's a it, it's a nice dog. It's an alright looking dog. It, it, it it's a cool lima truck. Look at this fucking bacon pig. Look at this bacon pig he did for. Me. Oh. I learned a while ago. You, you you have to learn to choose your battles. Uh huh. Safe. Choose your battles wisely. You will win the war. You can take the ball from my hand. Well, I'm going to call you Jojo. Bill, Bill. Bill Jojo Bill. was a man. He thought he was a woman. No, I can sing that song. <laughs> Are you a singer? I'm not going to sing that song for you. <laughs> Tease. Well. So what's everybody else up to tonight? Yeah. Uh, Sure, Jessica's gonna say, Oh, I'm crocheting. Considering having Joe's a cigarette, say, which is new and foreign to me. Joe's gonna say, I was crocheting all day and my hands are sore now. The lady's gonna say, Oh, I was crocheting. Oh, I am crocheting. Liz is gonna say, I'm just dancing in the streets. And Adele's gonna be like, I'm waiting for my music to happen. Uh huh. You know it. Uh. I don't know, nobody's chatting with me in the chat, so. Hey, Shine, how are you doing today? Hello, Shine, that's a pretty name. Hello, Shine. I've been working on a gift for somebody for the last couple, couple three days, and I finished it. I know, if you uh, think Shine, if you think, if you think Shine, if you think Shine's a cool name, what do you think her sister's name is? They all says no, well, John. Shine, Shone, uh, my messenger's finally working. <laughs> If you have sunshine, you also have cloudy day. Uh, rays, um, 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 sunburn. <laughs> her, name, uh, her name's Ray. Rain. It's rain. Sunshine uh, and rain. Yeah, I've known a few rain. That's cool, though. Your parents put some thought into it. But, hey, there's Bob and Jim and Shelly and such. Commercial. Oh, 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 she's, she's always, oh, yeah, she's she's drawn away from her TV show because yeah. the commercials are here. I think Bon Bon. Larry says, had cardiac rehab today. Hopefully, get back on the lead this weekend. We should stop going there. Continues. You should up. stop going there because it's going to start flaring everything up. Just just stop yeah. going all together and just stay on the lathe. You'll be okay. Yeah, it'll work itself out. Ain't no sunshine when it's raining. Billy singing. Or he's trying to make me sing and get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah. Joe said BRB foods here. Burp. I just ate a whole pizza pie and a bunch of cookies. Uh, yeah, Billy's a singer. This is new and good night. Been reruns for two weeks. Oh, I ate good today, Cliff. What's <laughs> up? Fine, <laughs> Bon. I had four Fine, pieces. Fine, Bon. Damn. Now that's what DVR is for, Bonnie. Damn it. Well, I think she has a. D I don't think she owns a DVR. She still has oh. cable. Oh. She still has cable. Cut the cord. Uh, let's go back. <gasps> <to this>. Oh <laughs> Lord, Jesus, me. Let's well, go let's, down to here. If I'm gonna get this done, I'm ready to start. No, I probably take an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, I could probably be done most <laughs> of this in an hour and a half. You'll probably be done before me this time. I want to see what the flag of Missouri looks like. <laughs> I've kind of been on a flag kick lately. Oh shit, that's way too. Uh, never mind. Yeah, can't get that intricate. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Carry on. Well, you can just go with the red, white, oh, and blue. Uh, what was that, John? You can just go with the red, white, and blue. <laughs> yeah, but then it could be Russia for sure, France. No, Bonnie France. said I don't have DVR and ice cream, but I don't stream Peacock. I only do Hulu and Paramount. I'm not paying for Peacock, so I have to watch it now on channel. 
Um, Hello, Deb Deb. What, what's that one? There's, there's one that's free. Oh, um, <laughs> what's that one that's free? There's a free one. Tubi? Yeah, Tubi's free. There's another one, though. Um, Money said, man, I didn't say ice cream. I said stream, but not pecan. <laughs> I, I stream, you stream, we all stream for ice cream. No, I just, I record stuff now and I watch True Crime more every once in a while, Shark Tank and some other stuff. Hey, Debbie, how's it going? Yeah, I don't, I, 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 I just Hello, stream everything. Debbie. Our stream is so much easier. Unless you get to do with two of us. I just so fed up with the commercials. Every other commercial is a prescription medication commercial, and they oh, I, got the adult, you binge watch something. Same one. Adult like diapers. Adult, adult diapers. Huh. Billy said, "Tooby dooby doo." No, Billy, I had no idea you did that much, that many different things, and had that. Damn, you even got a nice house. Dave Hardacusa size is with us. Tubi had Bob Ross channel on 24-7. Uh, and he says, Cliff, grab your yarn and join us at Fiber Floozy Crafts on Friday night. I might I might join you, but I, if I'm grabbing yarn, somebody done threaten me. I can't go. Oh, oh so, so <laughs> after the show last night, I uh, was going through through Facebook stuff looking at yarn videos and uh there's a yarn palooza fiber Fe fiber festival it's a fiber festival in, in uh martin uh, millerville i'm like carrie where's millerville she goes why so i googled it i'm like oh it's only seven hours away she goes what's in millerville i said it's, it's a fiber festival she goes what, what do you do i go well for 50 dollars entry i can spin my own yarn and then dye it and turn it into a hank she goes, why? <laughs> I, said, I said, what do you mean, why? Why not? <laughs> it's only seven hours away. Only seven hours. It's like, now, uh, Billy, I didn't know you did quite as much. I knew you turned, and I knew you dabbled, not more than dabbled in scrolling, but you just done a heck of a lot more. Hola, Maritza. I said, hola. Okay. Hola. That was howdy, oh, and hello, and hola, all mixed in. But yeah, you, uh, I'm even more impressed than I used to be. I got to meet hey, Billy at hola. SWAT, uh, many, many moons. I, I guess that was SWAT in Waco many moons ago. Hello, Connie. It was, it was many moons ago, wasn't it? Uh, uh, it, uh, it was at least, Five. at least two years, I guess, if not more. Hey, you know what, Cliff? Not yet. I, I don't even have enough room to lay out everything that I have done right now. <laughs> That's why I got displays yeah. to hang them. <laughs> I, I, probably got, whole, I got 300 puzzles and tubs. You yeah. had a whole open floor. Three years ago. Damn, it's already been three years? That's the day I met Jerry in person for the first time, too. And I met Chris Nealon. And I think that's all the ones I was familiar with. I couldn't wait to meet Billy, though. I, I knew he was going to be there. And then well, Charlie Marty, I know. Bio. <laughs> Marty, that's what I'm saying. It's only seven hours, right? I'm like, so, uh, Carrie, when do you want to pick up your mom? He's like, why? I'm like, oh, go to Millerville Fiber Festival. She goes, no. I'm like, oh, <laughs> she's like, it's just too early to go pick her up. I'm like, oh, come on. It's, it's in the middle of May. Let's go. Let's go pick her up. We're going to pick up the anime. She goes, uh, no. I'm like, Fiber Festival. What was funny about that day, John, was uh, Chris Nealon walked by my brother and said something like, doesn't pizza sound good right now or something like that? Because Chris is <laughs> always sent him pizza. And he thought yeah. it was some stranger saying something to him. I said, Charlie, you literally just passed Chris Nealon. <laughs> no, that was a cool day. I'm finna smoke. Well, Cliff, we know who wears the pants in John's family. 
<coughs> I always said I wear the pants. My wife just picks them out. Or picked them out. <sighs> and set them out for me. And Well, you do realize it, it's more than just paying for, you know, the entry fee. <laughs> now, I, I can buy extra skeins while I'm there. But the thing is, is it's a seven-hour drive, so it's fuel, and then it's overnight, and then food, and hotel, and everything else. So, bills. You know, you know what bills are, right? Yeah, that's my, <laughs> biggest, that's my biggest issue. Then those I do have. At a farm show, we have a sheep to shawl, a sheep to shawl contest. Holy Limited sheep time to, to shear the sheep, clean the wool, <laughs> spin it in the yard. <laughs> Then weave it on a loom into a shawl in less than four hours. What? Four hours? Holy cow. Is there enough time for all that? Super people? Like, I know, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the fastest I've seen anybody shear sheep is, like, two and a half minutes. I think it's some world record or something. But that's, like, you know, being pretty mean to the sheep. I'd be like, I'd be all nice to them. <laughs> oh, we're going to give you a little mohawk first. Give you some, like, lamb chops on the side, right? So you mean humiliated first? <laughs> no, make him look cool with his friends. I pity the fool. <laughs> you know you'd want to. If you were shearing a sheep, you know you would want to do that. Oh, yeah. That's the first thing I would think of. Look, she's got a landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> God, I have no idea what to make next. Oh, yes, I do. I just got to get some finalization from some peeps. Oh, yeah, and for my show the other day, uh, thank you, everybody, again. I really appreciate it. Like, this is the most viewers I've ever had on a show, ever. That was cool. I don't remember the exact were... number. I know it was about 80, wasn't it? <clears throat> you really got the hang of it. It was consistent as hell. I was proud. And then you yeah, went on wearing that... gold chain shit, and I'm thinking, damn, I might have been this. <laughs> like, no, it's, it's a yarn chain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making chains anyway. I gotta, I, I, I gotta make Earl look cool. Put it on his portrait. Yeah, no. Just glue it on. I started doing a diamond painting a long time ago and I, I didn't finish it because I got into this it was a skeleton playing a guitar and he was on file metal stuff immature metal stuff I don't even know if I've kept it. I apologize, Chatters. There's a lot of movement over there, but I can't see it from her. Uh, the is very day. important to us. Okay. Ooh, bonbon. Bonbon's back. The commercial. Bonbon's Thank you for your time. Up. Thank you for your time you spent with us during commercial breaks here, Bonnie. I appreciate it. We all made braces, anklets, and necklaces, John. We we learned to make chains. I'm only making one gold necklace for some bling bling for for Earl. Yeah, I'm getting all these like mega celebratory congratulations and everything else so 
I don't know. I appreciate all the support. I'm just trying to figure it out, though. It's just, you know, you guys are doing the same thing, so it's nothing worse than what you guys are doing. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I, I just like the camaraderie of the lives. I don't care what the content is. There's phase one. Well, that's a little bitty thing, too. Phase one, collect underpants. Phase three, make money. What's make phase money. two? Oh, we don't know. Hey, PP. <laughs> hey, Penelope. Penelope. <laughs> I was going to call her PP. <laughs> hey, Pen Ben. <laughs> Hello, Pen Penelope. Hello, Penelope. <laughs> Oh, I can call. I can call her poop. I'm allowed to call her poo poo. I'll call her poo poo. Hey, poo poo. I value my life, so. <laughs> Ad oh, here you go. Adele says, "Now learn to add beads or crystals to add bling." You know, Adele. I was actually watching a video the day, and I was watching somebody. <sighs> the wood show. Stop, people. So this person. I, I think I explained it to Nancy too. So this person took a but like a string, like she was beading string basically. She was crocheting with string. She took all these beads, these green beads, and put them on her string first. And then as she was crocheting, she would make a chain and then put a bead in it, make a chain, put a bead, like stitch one, put a bead, stitch one, put a bead, stitch one, put a bead. When she finished, it was, she had a beaded turtle shell. I'm like, what? No freaking uh -huh. way. <laughs> Doing it with string, that's impressive. And micro. Uh. Yeah, everybody, uh, Penelope's over on Facebook right now. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Dave Hart says, Steve Good recently put out a skeleton playing guitar pattern. God, that's a little ironical. I, I would grab it and show people. I don't think anybody cares that much. <laughs> so, there's two dogs. What do you mean you don't think anybody cares that much? About my little diamond art that I'm probably never going to finish. Are you already in here and just hiding? God dang it. Well, I'll see if I can find it. I literally only did like an inch or two on the bottom before I stopped. Oh, damn, I don't know if I kept it. Whatever will I do? Oh, there it is. Okay. It is cool, though. Uh, it's a little creased. Uh, I don't even know if it's going to show because I still got the cover on it, but I did up to... Up to here. Basically just the black up to here or so. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did more than I thought, but someday. If I still have the damn <laughs> diamonds. Thought I'd pop in for a quick minute and support the live. Thank you, Penelope. I appreciate it. Thank you, Colin. Yeah. Colin. How awesome. That's how I made ro rosaries back in the day for my military people. One day, John, that'll be you crocheting a beat a turtle. Yeah, next week. I'll be doing it next week. I don't, I don't even think I still have the tool to do it. Or the, God, I don't know if I can ever finish it. Hot damn. Elaine's here. Hot damn. Hello, Elaine. Hot damn. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm literally I'm at creator's block on what the hell I got one I can start I, I still want to get finalization in case the person I discussed it with was mistook that's all I need a little more light. 
It's the light of mine, not your light of shine. Hello, Elaine. I haven't broke it yet. You know, Art, all you need is a little patience. Yeah. I, of, I knew it. I you knew it. <laughs> I got lots of patience. <laughs> Just a little patience. I got no shorty, John. That. I'm not a doctor. I don't have patience. I play doctor. Well, who are you going to call? Dr. Kia Kid. Ghostbusters. Elaine says, I watched John Crusade last night. Did pretty good. And he said, I made 50 a couple of months ago for our church. So, in other words, you haven't done anything. Just a little joke. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm just waiting. I. I I'm just waiting to make one, Connie. I'm just, waiting to make <laughs> I'm just waiting to be able to. Somebody show me how to come back into a second row. Next thing you know, you're going to tell us you're painting dogs lately or something. Rawr cats. Hey, Ray Rains, which is crafty. And he says, Hi, John. I shared you all on Facebook. Thanks, I appreciate it. Oh, I was over in a live. Uh, I can't remember who I was watching. Um, anyway, uh, and she was she was telling me about what well, she was telling everybody about uh, Merc Mercanti. I think it is. Uh, apparently, I can't get it in Canada. I. It's not available in your area, so I can't get in Canada. But uh, she was she apparently she's a furls uh, hook salesperson as well, and uh, that looks like some pretty nice uh, nice hooks. She, but she was going on about different different styles and different. Uh, um, ba -ba 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 thicknesses and everything else and apparently uh she sent she sent everybody over to this furls crochet buy sell and trade apparently you can buy used hooks off of other people yeah so just saying okay is there any chance dutchman is jeff uh there's a good chance it is okay Phew. that's one in a row uh, why can't i get this god his in uh, aardvark, I can't ever specifically remember. Jeff and Mike. Mike. It's not, Mike. not that hard. No, Mike. No, it's not. Elaine will be our beer. Hubby just got home with dinner. What? No way. Well, it's better than having to make it for him, I suppose. I've got to find a way to play a game in my head to remember Dutchman's friggin' name. I'm sorry, homie. It's not that you're not memorable. I just suck. I'll show you when you're ready for me to come on your live and teach you, says Connie. Connie's going to teach me how to make crosses. Mike's not here, Billy. It's Jeff. I, I, by mentioning Mike, I made art. Thank you, Mike. Sure. I apologize. Adele says the pearl pearls hooks are beautiful and expensive, but they break easily. Disclaimer: They will replace if you call them. Right. Oh, let's see. Well, there you go. It's it's like a lifetime warranty on breakage, just like Milwaukee. Like craftsmen and such. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah, kind. <laughs> uh, Jeff said, yeah, I get it. I'm a ghost to you. What the hell? Ladybug Taffy he said, what are you making, Cliff? I, I finished something nothing. that worked on nothing. for three days, but nothing. it's kind of a surprise for somebody, and I don't want to. She's not here. Oh, okay. Well, it's a, it's a Swedish flag. Don't show, don't show anybody. No, you're, you're ruining You ruined it. Oh, well, I'm a, okay. <laughs> you literally just say it. Just call me ghost. Now, see, I probably won't remember to call you ghost either, bro. <laughs> But it's not you. Oh. It's, it's it's me. I'm sorry. Well, you know who played Ghost, right? You mean in the movie Ghost? Yeah. Patrick Swayze. There you go. You can call him Patrick Swayze from now on then. There you go, Jeff. I won't remember it. <laughs> Dutch woodworking is dead. 
No, this has got 481 rings. That's just about as much as a 24-inch necklace. <laughs> it's just the ghost of Dutchman's past. And it's it's literally nothing to do with you. It's just usually with somebody's name, if I can't remember it, I'll play a game like Ladybugs. Her name is Taffy. I thought, okay, picturing a ladybug made of Taffy. I, I just got nothing for Dutchman's switch yet. Just because they've been lurking all the time, just busy. Well, just picture of just oh, picture of this picture of Viking oh, named Chris. Jeff. It's Steve Nealon. The the, <laughs> the 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 oddest name for a Viking would be Jeff, right? Hey, what's that Viking's name? Uh we call him Jeff. What does he I, do? I, uh he's he, he's the local word worker. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't understand it. Oh, I could. I actually, I think John would just give me poo. I can see. I'll just change my camera so it'll be easier. Let me get it sitting right. But it's almost as big as my Texas flag. Uh, let's see here. Ego. Well, that takes care of the inside, cut. Doug the Viking. Oh, it's backwards. Kyle the Viking. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that takes quite a while. This is the first one I've had to do where I had to... Because this and this is supposed mm. to be the same thickness, but for some reason when they're vertical, it's uh Wait, something looks, different. What, what, what looks wrong with that? Like, why does the, the your your vertical cross looks like it's missing like one row on it of yellow? Exactly, Overall. but it's it's actually they're about the same. It also happens when you stretch it or push it together. These are supposed to be the same thickness, but when they're sitting like this and like this, they'll lay different. So it's just hard yeah. to get it right. I tried it with one more row and then it was overkill. So. It, it took quite a while. Well, Jeff, I guarantee you, if you came on the panel, he'd rec you, you, you could talk to him and he'll remember you. He'd be like, oh, that's Jeff, right. I met Jeff. It shall remember you by the big red dog. Nobody's ever said that to me. Uh, but I've got <laughs> to do something to remember. You would think out of the big deal I'm making about Dutchman, that I would remember his name, but no, it, I'm, I'm, it's not going to work. The big red dog and his big red rocket. <laughs> <laughs> if Penelope says, well, darlings, this witchy poo is off to walk the dog. Have fun. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, PP. Hey, I'm sorry John made me sit. He dared me and stuff. Mm, mm. Isn't it support to have blue on top of the top of the cross? I'm not 100% sure I get what you mean. Uh, Miss Tess. Penelope says, Well, darlings, this witchy poo is off to walk the dog. Fun. Well, thanks, Penelope, for coming out with us for a bit. Take care, girl. We'll see you later. Love you. Bye bye. Yeah, the, the ratios I couldn't use it because if I did that, it was going to be a little too small. I went a little bigger, but then when you go sideways, it, they're not overlapping, so it's, it, it's thicker. <laughs> Is this supposed to have blue on the top of the cross? It's too long. No, that's the way it is proper. Yeah, it's a... <coughs> Yeah, that's one thing that bothers me about vertical with horizontal is that they don't lay the same. Because these these four rows look thinner, but there's four of them. But they're overlapping, so you just can't nail her. <laughs> Chef said that's what she said. It was too small. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve. How's it going today, man? I, I do need to make something. I just don't know really what You could make some jello pudding pops. Uh-huh. What? Ah. 
Hvad er det? 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 Hvad Or think about it. Fine, I'll smoke another damn cigarette. God. No put chocolate says, at home. Okay, yeah. Peach yeah. dumplings and chocolate lava cake. I can't see. You know, Annie, I could eat a peach for hours. <laughs> Hi. Hi, my name is Peaches. <laughs> Even though I knew it was coming, it was still funny. Peaches, 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 peaches. I think I say Greg Zach on, but I don't know what he can say. Hello, Greg. Hello, Greg. Don't be causing no drama, Cliff. I told you already. Don't even talk to him. Fine. <laughs> Bye, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just going to start yourself to that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Archie, how's it going, man? What are you having up to? Hey, Archie. Hello, Archie. Hello, Archie. Get in there. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Archie. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> That's what I was trying to do, but I wasn't going to keep going. Oh, he did. <laughs> You such a fucking meathead. Go flush the turlet. <laughs> I like him on In the Heat of the Night, too. Okay. First time I've ever heard his normal voice. The show is kind of cheesy looking like. There's a lot of things I liked as a kid that I think are really interesting. Like Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh my god. Speaking of that, I forgot to drill a hole. So damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn it, Art, you shattered my image of you. I think I did. Let me check. Yep. How old are you? <laughs> oh, well. We do forgive you. Put it. I should put it right here. Your comment is very important to us. Your audio is like way low. Uh, God damn it. It's because it keeps switching. I don't know why I'm losing Bluetooth distance. Well, if this don't break, I will be happy. Yeah, apparently when I go sit by the door now, it it, it disconnects, and it's got a line of sight. Happy <gasps> dog. Look at me, I'm happy dog. Happy, happy dog. Happy dog. Oh, excuse me.
Annie, yeah, there are no stupid questions, only stupid answers, but I can try my best. What's your question? Yeah, I think I'll smoke a cigarette before I try to ruin that. Well, sounds like a good idea. I'm waiting for yeah. Annie to ask her question. Are you drilling pilot holes for the blade or coming in from the side? Um, it depends. So um, it depends on the letter, for example. So anytime, anytime there's a hole, you have to drill through the hole first. So right. Top of the E, top of the E, or top of the T, top of the E, top of the H, top of the R. Uh, no, top of the O, O, R, and C, right? So every single one of those is a drill hole, and then you just need one drill hole to do your entire outline. Uh, crime show, for example. Um, so the ampersand, ampersand, and it is the only one that had that that has drill holes in it. Right, the ampersand you only had drill holes. Everything else is just straight lettering. Uh, the O, the O had a drill hole in it as well, on show, show. So everything else is just outlined. So I can just go in from the side and just cut everything out. That's how I managed to do when I did did the word crochet the other day. Uh, not off this. Is it off this piece? Where is my the piece of crochet? Oh, it's right there. See, you can actually come in from the side. So you come in from the side, and what I did was I, I I cut out, I cut out, I came in from the side here, cut it all the top, and took it off. Boop, took that off, and then I cut all the bottom out. And this piece will actually fit in there perfectly again, minus the pieces that were cut out. And that's how you end up with like all these cool, intricate designs oh, and stuff. Oh, oh, Russ. So, like I was saying, um, so like my deer, for example, my uh, Charles Deering deer head up there. So, every hole, every piece that's cut, you have to drill one hole into, right? So, every, every one of these has one drill hole cut into it. And then I get change the blade for every hole. So you got to feed the blade through every time for every single one of those lines. But that's how you get detail. That's what gives you your detail. That's what gives you your... So it looks it, it looks three-dimensional, right? Even though it's flat. But it looks three-dimensional just because of the shadowing, the textures, and everything else. So for every hole that you have in it, it adds more detail to it. It's not a stupid question. It, 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 it is an actual, honest question that you need to know the answer to. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Hey, Susie. Sue, 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 Sue. Sue, Sue, Studio. Sasu. <clears throat> I'm researching my Bluetooth distance. Oh, look, Mr. Russ Meadows is here, too. Hey, Mr. Russ Meadows. Hello, Mr. Hello. Russ. Hello, Hello everybody. Mother Neely. Hello, Susie. Hello, Russ. Well, who who left you? What, to shorten the damn... what do you mean, Taff? Who left you? What do we do now? One answer says that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth use the same radio waves or some something similar. And it's happened ever since I got Starlink. But I'd rather have oh. Starlink than good Bluetooth. Well, Russ, I uh, hope it's good news, but try not to... Try not to get injured too bad. Because I you know, end up getting more sick in the hospital anyway. You know that. What happened with Russ? Annie, if you ever want to take notes, send me a message and I will answer all your questions in a private video. 
I don't have a problem doing that. I've done that for lots of years. I, I've helped a lot of people out, a lot of beginners and intermediate and experts that are like, like, how do you do this, John? How would you do this, John? So send me a message and s set up a video chat. I'll set up a video chat and we can I, I can walk you through stuff. And the thing is, is that if you're at your scroll saw or you want to learn how to scroll saw, then you know it, it's easier because you can actually do it as i'm trying to explain it to you and you can walk me through the problems that you're having so i, I don't have no issues with people messaging me with questions that they have and i'll, I'll answer them as best i can white to yep because it's on 2.4 gigahertz you might have to change what channel your wires is on. Thanks. You can move the Brian. router, sort of. Yeah, I don't. I do have Wi-Fi six. That's that's what's one of the perks of Starlink. But I have no idea how to do anything but move the router. But there, it'll only plug in so far away. Plug it in. Plug it in. <laughs> Oh, well, here we go. If you would like to know, Art, is that a saxophone you're making? My favorite instrument so far. Yes, it is. There's, there's about how... Oh, wait a minute. Saxophones are calming. It depends on who's playing it, I guess. Yeah, and, and what type of music they're... I used to love listening to Kenny G saxophone. That's what it looks Kenny like. G. But that was during certain activities. <laughs> what, about, what, uh, what was the name of that guy from uh, East Street? Clarence Carter. Clarence Carter. Clarence, yeah, yeah, Clarence, yeah. <laughs> oh, what about uh, who was that president? Clinton. Clinton played the saxophone. I'm sure Monica liked it when he played it too. Clinton played the saxophone and she played the flute. Oh! Daddy sang both. Mama sang too. Sing it, Donnie and Marie. You know, you can't sing both. You can't sing both parts, right? I didn't know you could update your Bluetooth version on your device. Well, yeah. Anything oh. technology you can update. <laughs> Larry Contreras says, I am sorry, but a sixth grader playing a sax is not calming. Oh. <laughs> Something. Greg says Leo Lee Pellegrino. Oh, too many zoos plays a mean set. Oh. Honestly, the most calming instrument to hear is the glass harmonica. I don't know if I've heard that or not. Oh, this. Google, Google a YouTube video for the glass harmonica. And and he says, try listening to the French horn, Larry. Hmm. Which way should I go? <coughs> the right way. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to take a left at Albuquerque. Apparently, it's it's time to smoke cigarette, Art. That's what you told me to say from now on. Okay. 
I can't. I, I, can't. <laughs> I wasn't smoking the whole time, so I'm going to now. I'm, I'm concentrating. Okay. Larry says, I don't like hearing a sax played by itself, but with other instruments, it's nice. I think if it's, if it's played good enough it by itself, it's cool. Made that one. Nick, don't you fall apart. Don't go breaking my heart. Couldn't if I tried. Copyright strike. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <clears throat> that is flimsy. Will we see an instrument or something else? Mm -hmm. And this is further. Dang it. Dang it. And the one on Bob Sugar, Bob Teeger. See, I always thought Eating the Cruisers was an actual real band. Obviously, they're getting to know how you all think. <laughs> well, like what? What are you talking about? My granddaughter plays violin, piano, and perception percussion instruments. I'm guessing they're percussion instruments, right, Debbie? Perception instruments would be quite the uh, quite the ability to play. <laughs> John Fo Forgery. John Fogarty, Fogarty. <laughs> mm. Almost there. Well, we got to go back that way. Damn. Holy crap. <laughs> My daughter goes to performing arts school, but they might shut it down this summer. Oh, man. You know, I know uh, uh, Shine that was on here earlier. Um, she actually likes. She, I said, I said, how's school going? She goes, I love it. I feel well, we can't wait. Here. Just can't wait for summer, though, right? She goes, No, I actually prefer school. I wish school ran year round. I'm like, Well, you know, you can go to summer school and do upgrading and uh, increase your your grades, the courses you've already taken, or take more classes. That way, you will advance yourself and graduate sooner. She goes, I can do that. I'm like, Yeah, you can do that. If you put your mind to it, you can actually bump yourself up a grade every summer. <laughs> My spell check is working overtime tonight. Uh, I'm hoping my granddaughter can do that too, Connie.
You know, I actually never learned to play any instruments. Um, I never got. A, uh, I always hung around with the guys in the in the band, the band, the rock band, the school school band, stuff like that. I like listening to the jam, but I never really was interested in learning to play get, be an instrument, though. I played bass guitar for a while and wanted to learn sax in seventh grade, and my parents said, "You can't learn it." You can't learn it. No, we can't afford it. They they couldn't afford anything, but they always had the money for this shit. I always had the money for food and clothing and housing and heat and water and gas and cigarettes and alcohol. <laughs> yeah. One of the one of the downsides of having four kids is it didn't help. Or you said you played a band for years. We couldn't get a class ring. We couldn't get a yearbook. And those ain't that damn expensive. Uh, Connie says they're going to be shutting down the performing arts my granddaughter goes to. Huh. Well, it. see, but so, like, uh, as far as I know, I, I know schools in Canada and in the States are different. But I know that in the States, like, like uh, the football teams and the cheerleading squads and all the stuff like that, like, they get um the boosters right like like team boosters to help raise funds for extra uniforms and training and everything else like that right am i wrong on this but that that's an american football thing as far as i know up here it's like okay you, you play whatever sport is being played at at the time because that's what they teach you in gym class and performing <laughs> arts like it, it, it's like you, you learn whatever music they teach you in the music class if you want to learn extra stuff then you learn on your own time or you could go to courses and stuff like that. Hey, hey, Cliff. Yes, sir. Are you looking at the camera? Yes, sir. All right, you see, uh, you see that, uh, you see that part right there? Yeah, uh huh. Right here. Yeah. That's one. That's one cut. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh no, I'm done with it. Oh. I I can't it. It didn't break. She got picked to go play at the high school. She's a fifth grader, 10 years old. Wow. That's awesome, Debbie. Hey, Chris, I may need to get with you on how to do what you were talking about doing other than moving the router. Because there's not a whole lot of room to move it. But I don't know if it'll help, but at least I can say I tried. But I don't want to take up John's show doing it. Yeah, I've always been proud of children that achieve stuff on their own yeah. rather than being forced to do it by their parents, right? Yeah. Like, 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 uh, kids that are forced to go into, like, uh, you know, those, those little prima donna princess shows and stuff like that. Like, that's, that's yeah. <laughs> kids, kids do not want to do that. Yeah. But children that, that, that show an, an aptitude to do something on their own that they want to do right, rather than being forced into it like you know like, like violin and piano and guitar and stuff like that that, that they want to do it then you know I, I'm proud of kids that do stuff like that for a while I wanted to learn piano and violin that's another common all, instrument is violin I've also always been jealous of people that have the the confidence to get up on stage and sing or act right because I was and play an instrument at the same time on. I was way too shy to do stuff like that. Oh yeah, me too. Like I can handle being on camera, but being the only one on camera, that's different. Why? That's because you're the absolute self focus. Well, like my show last night, you know, I was just doing doing what I had to do and then Nancy came on because I have to teach him. I have to show him something. Yeah. No, that's, I part of the, that's part of the reason I'm a goofball all the time is it's actually a little bit of a nervous thing. I'll give you the real look in a minute, Cliff. Okay. Turn this eye out. Jack in the shop said, what's the difference in a violin and a fiddle? I... I always believed it was just how you play it. <laughs> but it's on how you hold. It's on how you hold it. Yeah, I'm not too. sure of the actual answer. Isn't it the uh, the stuck like one staccato and one? It, I don't. I'm I'm just blowing wind up your ass now. <laughs> <laughs> I would appreciate it if you would stop. 
Threaten me with a good time, mister. Oh, that, that reminds me. Uh, when I was at Jerry's, he had something he was about to throw away, and I grabbed it just in case. It was cool. It's some sort of heart. Oh, Jack said violin has strings, fiddle has strings. It's some sort of harp. Are you not sure it's a harp? I'm going to, I don't remember the, it's not like you're, I'll just grab it. Grab some bitch. Some bitch. <laughs> not a roll. It's called an auto harp. I can show it to you, but I don't know if it's all going to fit on camera and it's a little dusty. Auto harp uh, play. Oh yeah, that's an auto harp. I don't have a clue about it. It sounds like it's out of Oh, I'm quite sure it is, but there's many, many strings on it. I think there's 34. I'd never even heard of one. I thought, man, is that a little steel guitar? <laughs> Oh, there's 36. Oh, so close. There's 36 strings on an auto harp. Somebody's Googling. I'm going to... Some, some have 47 okay. and a rare, rare... There's a rare 48 string one. Not the strings on it. See if it's rare. What's, is there a name on it? Uh, let me go back and look. Um... Uh, my Oscar Schmidt. Ooh, Oscar Schmidt. Oh. Uh, it's gonna cost you. Uh, it's gonna cost you about eighty to one hundred thirty-five bucks to restring it, to get it tuned up. Oscar Schmidt. Auto heart pricing. There are two pieces. Oh. They come in a case. Uh, no. Um, it may have at some point, but. They they range in price, don't they? Uh, well, they sell. Oh, oh, nice. Ooh, yeah. You yeah, know what? 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 Uh, what model it is, though? Um, Let's see it again. Let's see okay. it again. Let me come back to your. What does the wood look like? It looks. What does the wood look like? that's on it. Uh, just black. Let me get back where I can see what you're seeing. I was doing Google Foo. Okay, so black on black. So if you know what model it is, if it's a model 21 or a reissue 21 cord. I see a 75687 on this sticker down here. Uh, it could be like this one. So an auto, an auto sharp Oscar Schmidt twenty one cord, OS seventy three CE reissued passive pickup. They're selling for about five hundred bucks, or sorry, six hundred um, bucks. Well, it doesn't look to be electric in any way. No, it's not electric. Uh, well, I thought any time you heard pickup. Night, hey. Night, Herb. Yeah. Um, and this is a little yellow. Don't know if that's for me. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of information on it to find out, is there? Uh, you'd have to open it up. It does look like there used to be something screwed into it. Onto it. Open it up. I don't even know if there is an opening. It looks like it's all on the surface. Although there is screws in the back end, but I think that's just holding the tensioner or whatever you want to call it. And the metal bar going across here is a little rusted. All the ones I'm looking at, actually, they got like fret cords on them, like fret cross. placements. Five, six, eight, seven. 
See, it it actually looks like it it, it, it is missing it, it is missing these these, these rat keys on it. Let me get back over there. Yeah, it does look like something used to be there that's not. Hmm. It's, it was on the side here and yep. on, on, on both sides yeah. that ran across. Across yep. here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's missing on it. Um You can buy parts for it. Like uh, seventy Oops. bucks, seventy bucks for the part that's missing on it. I don't, I don't know if I'd get that far into it. Just more of a curiosity thing, or I grab it just in case kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, if he's throwing it away. Like I said, depending on how many keys are on, how many, how many strings are on, probably, there's probably twenty six or thirty six. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. <clears throat> mm, too bad you didn't have one of those rare, very rare thirty-seven, thirty-seven string ones. Uh, <laughs> mm, there were thousands. <clears throat> now they're talking about felts and all kinds. There ain't no felt on this thing. <laughs> No, because you're, you're you're missing the keys for it. Oh. Oh, so this wasn't even something you played like this. Well, you can, <laughs> but it should have keys on it. Well, that sucks. But yeah, it's definitely missing those. Ooh, ooh, Lord, excuse me. Actually, you can tell. Look, John, I just noticed it's silver here. You can tell it did used to be covered. Yep. Dark. Okay. Yeah. So it probably ain't worth a whole hell of a lot. You just check down the pawn shop. They might give you a hundred bucks for it. Well, it, it's an hour and a half trip for me to even get to one. I'll pay for fuel. <laughs> I'll pay for fuel. We take everything else from the pawn shop. <laughs> oh, you can take like jewelry in. <laughs> take jewelry. In. These, these are one of the kinds. I know they are. <laughs> There's no other. There's no others like these in the world. <laughs> you know who made them? Yes, uh, Cliff Deering, uh, Heart of a Ryan Jewelry. I know that. I, I know I, am. I, I know. I know the owner personally. I could do horror movie sounds. Hush. Uh, Ain't that bad of music? <laughs> no, so don't know. Hush, Muppet. What's the matter? Is Billy in the well? Did Billy fall in the well? <laughs> like they need to go out, I guess. <laughs> Our well is covered. I don't get it. Yeah, I never noticed that big shiny area. I hadn't brought it in the shop and even messed with it. <clears throat> I hate when I'm complete and, completely and utterly undriven to make something. Yeah, you do. Set your freaking photo booth and start taking pictures. Well, it, it's got so much, like the whole border metal strip thing is rusted. It would take a lot of work. What are you doing tomorrow? Hopefully making something. <laughs> I should be photographing, but hell no. I'm actually, my mom informed me that I need to run to the place and get the weed whacker part. Mow the yard and trim it for a change. Well, there you go. Wants me to clean out gutters and all kinds of things. Or you said you could use finger picking style. One hand and the press cords with missing keys. You get a tune out of it then. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Crystal. 
Well, see, I remember her. I only heard her name one time and remembered it. Why can't I remember Jeff? Well, I asked Crystal because she messages me three times a day. <laughs> Susie's saying hi to China. I didn't catch China coming in. What? Where's China? Who's not paying attention to the chat? Cliff? <laughs> I wasn't here. If she isn't okay. here, she got in here a long time ago. Because I don't see her. Yeah, Archie. Yeah, there. I, <laughs> to even take it to a place to get tuned good would cost me. No, I don't see China in here. Know. What's going on? You're messing with my head. You're messing with my head, Susie. I don't see China in here. It'll just been a mistaken name. Oh, like calling like, the wrong name. Yeah, that never happens on our show. Not even once. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I'm limited by in here is where outlets are and room to put stuff anymore. Okay. Susie said that Lawrence said hi to China. <laughs> I could teach you how to tune it technically. Archie, you would see how very stupid I actually am. I, I, there's some things I'm very good at, and there's things I feel like a first grader in. No offense to first graders. Want to buy an auto heart? <laughs> I'll leave an auto tune Maybe it for you. Deal. <laughs> Make it too, uh, a deal for you. Lord knows it'll probably get there in two, three days. Because you're not in California or Canada. Connie finished her husband's desk today. I need to get by the what? damn door. Connie, you're down right useful. <clears throat> I need more desks, and I need bigger desks. I need more money. Or just a house. Instead of a room. <laughs> I'm thankful to have the room, because... Yeah. Well, you know, Cliff, in New York, your loft, your open, open area loft would go for about eight grand a month. <laughs> Pretty much there, yeah. Well, technically, it's not in my name, so it ain't going to go for nothing for me. My mom today, she said, you're lucky I'm not charging you rent. I said, well, we'd both be screwed if you were. She said, who's this we? You got a frog in your pocket? I said, yeah, he ain't paying rent either. <laughs> she laughed, and we parted ways. Rode off into the sunset. says it turned out beautiful. I don't doubt that. I wish I would have gotten the woodworking gene because we had the stuff to do it. The woodworking gene. But then my dad got lung cancer and he finally got his shop set up and couldn't even do nothing in it. He was devastated. So he hung out in the shop every once in a while just to wind down. Oh, he waited all his life. Yeah, he waited all his life to have one. Isn't that ironic? Don't you think? Isn't that ironic? Ah, uh, you see what you did there. To have rain on your wedding day. Farted ways. Yeah, my mom farts all over me. <laughs> That's why she's telling you to mow the grass. It's time for you to pay rent. Hello, Beth. Hey, Beth. Well, freaking time you showed up. <laughs> Who are you up to? Hello, Beth. <clears throat> what you been up to? Hopsha, hopsha. Hop like a bunny. 
Hey, Archie, you want to buy an auto harp? Connie says I have an old piano I took apart, but the strings are still intact, and you can play it like a harp. <laughs> I just got online, and here I am, says Beth. God, I got to do something. I don't like just sitting here. Here I am on the road again. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of Metallica's version of Turn the Page? Yep. Pretty cool. I also like Whiskey in the Jar to a degree. One of my yep. favorite slow songs from Metallica is called Mama Said. It's he's basically telling his mom to let go of his heart so he can move on. It's, it's heartbreaking. One of the lines that gets me is he says, uh, yes, you probably are, Beth. Uh, he says, I need your arms to mother me, mother me, but cold stone is all I see. My mama. You need my arms to mother you. What are you talking about? Need your arms to mother <laughs> What the hell is I think she was for? raised really religious and stuff. But I don't know. He's, he's always been a brilliant lyricist. How you was, Beth? Well, I guess there's worse songs stuck to have stuck in my head. No, you got- hey, hey. <laughs> hey, people. I'm just showing off my mat. I'm doing a Out tour of my mat. Everybody is. <laughs> now, I'm showing off my mat. This is the square oh, I did the really? other day. This one I'll do tomorrow. This one. Arthur? Be the other one. How you doing, buddy? Good. What kind of... Almost, almost done with this one. Cool. What kind of wood that is, John? It almost uh, it's looks quilted maple. It's quilted maple. <clears throat> Oh, the 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 sapwood's awfully dark for maple, but it's really pretty. That that's cool. That's cool to maple. I didn't mean the sapwood. I meant the heartwood. Duh. I'll be all right in a minute. Oh, the uh, YTFP Chris said Billy no, no. Uh, lost some of no, his. No, the heartwood over here on this other piece, the one you just put down. Yeah, the light stuff's the sapwood, I think. <clears throat> no, not this the one here. This one, yeah, that one. It's maple, it's quilted maple. Yeah, which is the sapwood, the light or the dark? Uh, the dark. I think it's well, light. Just the live edge, right? Yeah, that's the sapwood. The light's the okay. sapwood. That's why I was confused because the 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 heartwood looked too dark to be maple for me. Oh, to me. Billy, why yeah, did Chris said you lost some of your beard? I, I did, Chris. I, I, I trimmed it, 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 it Saturday. I'm going to do mine in the next couple of days. My whole face <laughs> is getting furry. Archie says, I played Inner Sandman once with my old man with massive PA and stage and lighting show. Man, blasting it now to remind me. That's the one that broke them out of the, the genre uh, label. Yeah. Chris Nealon says, uh, Billy, you're looking okay, you comfy. Well, it, I may be looking comfy, but I'm not. I woke <laughs> up this morning, I slept eight hours, got up this morning. My sciatica was kicking my butt. <laughs> <coughs> Asthma still is. I, yeah, mine kicks my it. ass whether I stand and, for too long or sit for too long. I can't win. Yeah, me either. Yeah, but I woke. It usually, it doesn't hurt while I'm asleep. But I, I woke up hurting and and just absolutely exhausted. I mean, I slept eight hours and woke up feeling like I, I run a marathon. It was crazy. Jack said I played Inner Sandman once on my radio. <laughs> Damn! As you can see, Jack has no sense of humor. <laughs> I love him to death. I, I've played it two or three times on my radio, Jack. Hello, Greg. 
No, my, my favorite album, favorite song even, is Master of Puppets. Yeah. I'm, I was pretty versatile in the 80s and 90s on a genre, genre that's, that's John's favorite word. Genre is yeah, John's no. favorite word? No, I fucking hate the word genre. <laughs> People didn't start using it until lately. That's stupid. Stupidest word around. I've heard it for a long time, but I'm out in the <clears throat> <laughs> oh. Well, I made it, John. Yeah. I said about an hour and a half. So we <clears throat> start now I'm done. Good. Cliff, John don't like it because it sounds like it sounds too much like John. <laughs> hey, look, no. hey, look at this genre. Jack says I play gospel country and bluegrass. And Archie is tata -ta for now. We love you, Archie. Toodles. Let, me, let, me know, let me know if you want to buy an auto heart. I don't. <laughs> I was so thinking I almost had you too, right? <laughs> That'll never happen, Cliff. No, I feel Billy you. Could, Billy could take that apart and make something out of it. That's true. Hey, you want to buy an auto heart, Billy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, I was just like, given a small upright piano today. I've got to go over and take it apart next week wow. or week after. What? You already have a piano in your shop already in pieces. I do. I'm fixing to have another one. <laughs> oh, my I'm gosh. Freaking believable. When I'm working, I'm either listening to country, heavy metal, or hair bands. Every once in a while, 80s and 90s pop, but very rarely. Classic rock and hair metal for me all the way. I've never been able to get into classic rock. I guess I got started too late. We had I still remember. music back in the 60s and 70s. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. I, Up I, until I, disco. I draw the I line. I kind of like disco because that's what I... I didn't know the concept of changing the radio <clears throat> station when I grew up, was growing up. So it was <clears throat> no town and disco. I got into a lot of it. Beat no, it's, only, it's only allowed to be on one channel. You can't change it. I just didn't know how to change it. <clears throat> I had that set properly. It was I'm, in I'm my room. Family. One of the founding members of the disco sex movement. <laughs> Russ said classic rock for me. Chris said as long as it has a beat and a melody, all is almost good. I can find talent in any genre. It's just it's, I can't like all of any of it. But at, at least through the mid-70s, we still had the likes of Queen and Van Halen and Supertramp and Super Club. Tramp, I'm becoming a retro fan of. I didn't realize how much I liked them until now. Etc. There were some others. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah I, I, I love them. <laughs> She's not just any tramp. She's a super tramp. <laughs> a long way home. Yep. That, that disco song, Disco Duck. <laughs> <clears throat> I used to sing it, disco, disco sucks. <laughs> <clears throat> that dance made it, Billy. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it, uh, like every once in a while, a song from a completely different genre. Like, uh, I can't stand this type of music, but there was a commercial that played the shit out of it, and it was Temperature by Sean Paul, so that one grew on me. Uh, well, it's like all those beer commercials. Probably, probably heard it, but I'm not familiar. Cold I can play you a part of it. I'll we play you some of it. My love. I don't want to do a coverage. No, me. it's all right. We're good. Fine, fine. <sighs> Van Halen <clears throat> garage party oh, when I was cool. in high school in Cali. That is cool. That's cool, Susie. But no, I loved a lot of Motown. I loved the Bee Gees, uh, KC and the Sunshine Band. Susan then I got into... Alexia. Sorry. So, I'm, I'm sorry. I walked all over you. Go ahead. Oh, hell. I, I, I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it, when I see Susie's name, my, my list Dexia goes into hyperdrive. And I see... Why? And, and my mind automatically goes Twisted Sister because I see Twisted Susie. <laughs> So, um, sister softball like, roots. 
Oh my God. <laughs> Chris Nealon said I had Cliff Peck as a Roger Whitaker fan. I remember in the seventies seeing my dad's records and I remember <laughs> seeing one with Roger Whitaker <laughs> on it. Oh God, Chris. <laughs> what what is he saying? Because something tells oh, me I probably heard it. Heard a thing or something. <laughs> no, he's good. Chris is trying to kill me. Damn. <laughs> um Hey John. Uh, Roger Whitaker. <sighs> he, he he was selling he was selling cassette tapes and I don't think it was pre C D, I believe. He was selling contest cassette tapes. Eight, eight track. Stuff. I've seen Roger Whitaker. <laughs> on the on the on, on the TV about the same time as Boxcar Willie was doing the same thing. Yep. He, yeah, he, he was saying he's he's saying it, 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 as he died. Let's call it easy okay. listening for, for the lack of a better term, but it was it was smooth and mellow music and he had a pleasant voice. My grandmother absolutely loved him. Susie said she played softball with the Happy Days cast in the early seventies. What honey? Hey, here you go, John. Yeah, I was talking about Roger Whitaker. He finished the saxophone John. Cool. Yep. There you be. Hey, that's looking pretty. That's looking pretty sexy there, Art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how many? <laughs> how, many how, how many ringy dingies does it take to make a call on it, though? Hey, you want to see something? Want to see how good I am at it? Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, that sounds just like Art's voice. It sounds out of tune. Uh, crazy. Yeah. You must. You well, fine tuned um, it to your voice. About an hour and 15 minutes. Beth said my aunt tried to get me into Engelbert Humperdinck. Why the hell would somebody pick that man? <laughs> but no, I, then I went to country and then my sister introduced me to Van Halen uh, one album. So I got into that and then I got into Rat and Motley Crue. Then I got into Metallic and Pantera and, stuff, and now I'm a professional metalhead. I used to have the hair to match. Connie was a surfer. Hey. Hey. I used to like the Beach Boys a little bit. But yeah, I, I was. I was always just a cowboy. They were gonna play it yeah. for us, man. Just a cowboy looking for. I've been to a beach girl. one time, and that was a Rangers pass. Well, I. I grew up in Texas and South Dakota on the ranch, so. I grew up all over. Well, I got older all over. <clears throat> Started riding when I was seven. I had a horse take off with me at the age of 14, and that was, that was good for me. Started driving a tractor when I was seven. Susie likes ACDC. I never could get into ACDC. I don't know why. I don't hate them, but I just never got into them. I don't know why. I just kind of skipped over them. Took my oldest son to see ACDC here in San Antonio in 2000. 2000 or 2001. My God, absolutely the loudest concert I have ever been to (laughs) in my life. That's because you're old, Billy. Uh-huh. No, no, I've been to many concerts since then. This, this, this was the, if it's it was too loud, the too loudest. Loud. It was the loudest concert I've ever been to. My ears, I have tinnitus anyway, but my ears rang bad, bad for like a month. That said, her first concert was the Beach Boys and Chris uh, Nealon. Go ahead, Art. I was just thanking the people. Oh, uh, Chris Nealon said, Oh, bury me not on the old prairie, la da da. My first concert was SoCal 78. Mine was White Snake. Mine was uh, opened up for him. Mine was Chicago. A uh, few months after Color My World came out back in 1971, I was a junior in high school. Uzi's was Aerosmith. Chris has never been to one. My. One of my favorites, and I've been to a few Metallica ones. My favorite, believe it or not, was Cinderella with White Lion and Tangier. And the reason why, I, I, I couldn't tell you what Tangier, but Cinderella, they had the most awesome, elaborate stage show. Like, you know, don't want you, don't know what you got till it's gone. He came down from the ceiling playing a white piano. It was, that was yeah. cool. 
Is it Dawkin, Cinderella, and a couple other groups opened Dawkin. for Poison here uh, 22 years ago? And my son-in-law and I went. And, and and Cinderella was awesome on stage. They were fantastic. Yeah, and I I'm surprised that I like him because his voice is kind of faked, for lack of a better word. So yeah, yeah I loved both. them. Why are you supposed to Dawkin? You don't you, you, you don't seem like a Dawkin guy, really. Who <laughs> me? Uh, yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street series yeah. is what ruined me for them. It seen, became too I, commercial to me. I've seen Dawkin twice. I've seen uh, le, uh I've seen ZZ Top three times. I've yeah, I can never Skinner. get ZZ Top. I just don't like them. I've seen I'm not Skinner a huge fan three either. times. ZZ Top uh, gave uh, the command to start the engines in my first next car uh, race. Like, let's see, I've, I've hey, seen Larry. Def Leppard three times. I'll be seeing Def Leppard again this year. There, Def Leppard opens for Journey, who opens for Steve Miller Band. That'll be in August. Journey I loved. Russ Meadows uh, likes talking too. I've, I've seen, oh my God, I've seen them so, so many. Atlanta Rhythm Section, um, Deep Purple, in '74 in so Denver. My last one. Well, I went uh, to that was my second concert. <laughs> I went to Tim McGraw with Black Hawk in uh, Little Texas. I think my last one was probably Metallica, and I haven't been to one in many moons. <clears throat> and Greg said, "I think the guess who was my first concert." Connie said, "All right, I will pay you at the end of the month. And give you the address for you. So send." Uh, Greg, I can only guess so many, uh, so many bands. Who is it? Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> guess who? I've, I'm guessing I've who. Never got a chance to see the guess who. Uh, I've seen Creed. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> White Snake. I've seen Scorpions. Um, Indy Mike is with us. Hello, everybody. You are old when you celebrate your son's 50th birthday tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Huh. Wow. Let's see. I've seen Aerosmith. And Steven Tyler is not looking. He's looking like an old woman now. Yeah, but he can still sing, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of still singing, that. I saw Billy Idol in 2007. I can't and stand he, Billy Idol. I'm sorry, he just he, me he, as a he, he he looks like hammered fecal matter, but oh my god, <laughs> he, he he's still got a hell of a voice. That boy can sing. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> Shit, hammered, hammered, hammered fecal matter. <clears throat> I, I was trying to be somewhat nice. Know. Mama sending me Facebook for you. No, I I was into all kinds of music in the late eighties, early nineties. So yeah, I loved I loved the the rock, the classic rock. I love still classic rock from the sixties and seventies. I like the oldies from the fifties and early sixties, <clears throat> and I love the hair metal from the mid eighties. I love hair metal. Yeah. The MTV days were, oh my God. That's when MTV was you know, 83, 84, 85, 86. When they played music. They, yeah, when they still yeah, played that, music. That's yeah. trippy though, Billy. That's always trippy. That was I can't great. picture you liking hair bands, and that's cool. I've got a ton of hair bands. Uh, Marty said, I was on the treadmill loudest concert with Queensryche. Queensryche, that was, I got into one album. Queensryche Judas Priest at Burt Ogden Arena. And Connie said, I saw Alice Cooper last year, and wow, that man at 73 can still sing and move around. Yeah. There was somebody else that was pretty old I saw could still sing. Oh, I've seen Bo Diddley. <laughs> you don't like any country, uh, Billy? I, I like, I, I, I used to listen to old country once in a while, but oh, old I don't country. like this. I was yeah, just going to say like on this. TikTok the I other like day, I saw, air, oh, I can't stand the new stuff. I saw uh, Aaron Tippin on TikTok the other day. He can still sing uh, pretty good. I, I like uh, back in the days of Merle, Bill Merle Anderson. Hager. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Merle, Bill Anderson, uh, the dang stuttering guy. Um, oh, Mel Tillis. Tillis. Mel Tillis. Ham Tillis. Could sing good too, and she could, and uh, you know Johnny Cash, of course. Neil McCoy, uh, one of the 
Him and Keith Whitley had some of the most quality Ernest, voices. Uh, Bob Wills. Bob Wills is still the team. But, yeah, I, I like old country. Furland Husky, Farron no, Young, no. Uh, Don. Don. Not, oh, crap. No. Not Jerry. No. Don Hagner. <laughs> mm -mm. Andy Mike oh, said I, we went to see Elvis the last year. Was life that man could sing? I even like uh -huh. old school Eminem. No, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> older, older knew either one. <laughs> the rap sucks. I freaking. No, I don't like I rap. Making, That's what's I, trippy that I like them. Uh, I, I started making buttons. I started. I started making buttons. R A P S U X. Back in back in the freaking eighties when it was out. Okay, so. Rap sucks. Said, uh, Ernest Tubb on the Andy Griffith show. Rick Springfield last year, Connie saw last year, and he is 73. He's 73. Holy shit. <laughs> well, it's like Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart's yeah. still freaking touring. I never liked Rod Stewart. No. I, uh, Girls did. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. I saw Ricky go to, Nelson. Go to, a, go to a rock concert. Go, go to a concert where. Where where he's playing, and you'll guarantee to get some. <laughs> we, we saw Ricky Nelson about eight months before he died. I still can't believe COVID. That, that was a really Joe good Diffie. concert. Oh, you don't listen to country. That wouldn't mean shit to you. <laughs> no, who said not me? Yeah, Don Williams. Thank you, Annie. But I believe in love. <coughs> yeah. That, I, I like Don Williams. But yeah, I don't I don't much listen to country at all anymore. Well, I believe in life after love, so. Well, I believe in life after love. Love, love, love. <laughs> in auto, I never like share either. I don't care. Well, get out of here then. That's two bands. <laughs> and you like said, you're oh, just really irking me tonight. I'm sorry. Who is? Would, would Cliff say that time? Uh, I can't stand Cher. She looks like a horse, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure if you were. Susan, I, Susan I'm said, sure if just, you were. Well, just so you know, my boyfriend is Chris Stapleton. <laughs> I'm sure if you were dating her just for her money, you'd be okay. No, I wouldn't. Actually, I wouldn't do that. I know what you're saying, but no, I, I just. I'm, I'm sure she'd let you. <laughs> because she's a horse, of course. I'm sure if you made her some turquoise colored jewelry, she'd wear it on her next concert. Mm -hmm. I got this from Cliffy. That part of Ryan jewelry. Oh, I, there's a lot of genres I can uh, I can find talent in some of them, but I I can't stand today's today's anything. Well, that sounds just like an old man. Those damn I damn long like, hairs. <laughs> well, I like I like some of the new. Uh, what Marty Mar Marty says she watched Ludacris last year. He was loud and good. Uh, yeah, Ludacris. Don't be so silly. Um, I, I like. <laughs> I like a lot of the more contemporary. That's ludicrous. I don't know if you, I don't know if you call them rock or pop or whatever, but like you know, Maroon Five with Adam Maroon Levin, Five, really, like a boy band. Yeah, I like that. You know, uh, I miss Boys to Men. Nelly. Uh, no, <laughs> not big on Boys to Men. Not big on I, either of the two boy bands. I miss the Backstreet Boys. I did like "Hard to Say Goodbye" by uh, Boys to Men and End of the Road, whoa, whoa. and I wanted that one. Yeah, I did like that one. Boys to Men did do some pretty good harmonies. There is that, but yeah. Um, uh, TLC, I like TLC. Don't go chasing Um. Yeah, Bruno Mars. Yeah, I can't stand him. I like him. You can have him. Uh, and 
Oh crap! What's that guy's name? It's kind of a weird name. Weekend. Or yeah. I'm, but anyway, just Ed Sheeran. I like his stuff. So so yeah, I like some of the newer music too. I'm also really fond of uh, Baroque style oldies. Uh, the stuff by Mozart and Vivaldi and the like that where the music is it's it's set at like 50 to 60 beats a minute that's Ed Sheeran he's the guy with all that that's tattoos very, on his face, isn't he? that particular range 50 to 60 beats oh he's a uh, redhead guy help, Ed Sheeran is yeah helps you study and 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 makes your mind a little more alert and receptive it's just but if I was when I was sitting down typing research papers and whatnot, I would put Mozart or Vivaldi on, and just go to town. <laughs> I actually even liked Riding Dirty by Chameleon Air. It just kind of grew on me. Assuming y'all could even hear me with my blue teeth. <clears throat> we are. It's been what? disconnected. Apparently, I have to stay standing. Seven Bridges Road was good harmony. The, oh, love uh, that one. Really good harmony, though, truly. Uh, Brian Wilson was a harmonic genius. Seriously, with the Beach Boys, talk about harmonies. Holy crap. <laughs> just sit and listen to some of their stuff sometimes. It's just phenomenal. Did you like the Bee Gees, Billy? The original Bee Gees, before they went disco. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we had this conversation with uh, some text. Yes. I didn't recognize half the songs you mentioned. Well, you That's know, too much hope, and I love that one. Best song from the Baroque era, I guess, would have to be uh, Wag Wagner. 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 Right right? Yeah, Ride of the Valkyrie. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's, That's a good song. song. Yeah. Apocalypse Now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever watched that movie all the way through. <coughs> what? I know. Take my man card. Uh, tisk, tisk. I was not allowed to watch it when it was on TV. I was too young. Too much violence, apparently. When what was on TV? Apocalypse Now. <clears throat> I love the oh. smell of oh, oh, oh. in the morning. Yeah. You know, it was rated R. <clears throat> And I had to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Go to bed. You can't watch this. Like, what? Yeah. But it's got like classical music in it. Oh. Here's what he does uh, that. Go to bed. Well, if, if my dad was watching Rated R, we couldn't be in there when we were in our 20s. Just because he didn't. If he saw a booby and you were in the room, he was mortified. What? <laughs> and I remember when I was. When I was 21, I had a girlfriend that if there was a boob in a movie, she acted like I called up the director and said, please put a boob here. She acted like I did it. It was the craziest thing. Yeah, yeah that, that I, Seven Bridges I, I Road is beautiful. I, I, I used to, I, I always used to like Crosby, Stills, Nash, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. And... Uh, and even some of Neil Young's other stuff, Cinnamon Girl, whatnot. But he's turned into a entitled Happy. idiot. Seven Bridges Road, I loved. Uh, Connie said her husband saw Kansas in a bar before they were Kansas. <clears throat> Andy Mike said, "Did didn't one of the Beach Boys die lately? He had the high voice." And Russ said, "Great harmonies by Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Can't stand Neil Young." <laughs> Hopefully sleep good tonight. <laughs> well, my dog woke me up after four hours loving on me. Gave up after an hour. <clears throat> 56 degrees in Hamilton, Texas. I <clears throat> What you had said? Cold and rain, is that what you said, Art? 
64 and rain. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we're getting rain again Monday, so God, I don't want to do yard work tomorrow. <laughs> that shit grows too fast. <laughs> but it looks sexy as hell when I'm done. <laughs> it don't feel as late as it is. Oh, yeah, OJ died today, 76 years old, prostate cancer. I, I learned about it an hour after it was posted on the interweb. Mm -hmm. And he might have asked, did you hear about OJ? I didn't even know he was sick, other yeah. than in the head. Well, let me know when you want me to get excited about it. <laughs> I still remember tripping out when uh, Kobe Bryant died, even though I wasn't a... Uh, Basketball fan or anything, you still know who the guy was. Yeah, helicopter. Yeah. I just, anytime I think, I hear about a plane crash or any aircraft, it's like, can you imagine what it's like knowing you're about to die? God. It's like Randy Rhodes died in that helicopter crash at Ozzy's house. Yeah. What, wasn't that a, a guy messing around and he clipped a power line or something? Or am I thinking of Buddy Holly or some shit? No, that wouldn't be Buddy Holly. <laughs> but somebody, I think it was a, they were messing around and they clipped a power line and hit the ground. I think it was, yeah. they wasn't yeah. messing around, but I think they just didn't realize it was there and they went no. into it. Well, like I said, I just don't know what I thought I heard. <clears throat> Greg said Neil Young had his brain removed and now he's a climate activist. Yeah. You know what Randy Rhodes did before it was Ozzy's guitar player? No idea. You can tell us, though, aren't you? He was, he was Ozzy's uh, babysitter for his kids. <laughs> wow. He was Greg he said, was a man. Oh, he already said that. And he might say, if there's a hell, that's where he is, yeah. OJ ruined his legacy. Bill Cosby ruined his legacy. Yeah, he did. Uh, Mr. Diddy, his shot is to hell, and it wasn't even that great. Diddy. Did he or did he not? Ooh, what did he, did he dumb? <laughs> I want these dogs to learn how to close the door. Yes. Oh, Skinner was a show off lane grass. I know I'd heard of one, but I could swear there was another one. Uh, <laughs> well, they had, they had bought this old, I think it was an old DC-3. And about half the band went up there and they crashed <sighs> and killed my <sighs> Ronnie for sure. Yeah, anytime I hear somebody died in an aircraft crash or a drowning or burning to death, that that sticks with me for a while. I'm uh, very empathetic. Richie Valens said, the, the day the music died was the crash. You're talking when you mentioned Buddy Holly. Yeah. That was Holly and the Big Bopper and Richie Valens. Oh, I know what I'm curious if you like is uh, Gordon Lightfoot. Mm -hmm. I loved his, the two songs, uh, Edmund Fitzgerald and Sundown. Sundown. Sundown, is that what it is? I yep. love those two. But that uh, that Edmund Fitzgerald one is like a, just a, an echo <clears throat> in the music. It, it's such a haunting little tale. Yes. He just died recently, ish, in the big scheme of things. But yeah, uh, the country artist we lost to COVID was Joe Diffie. He had some pretty ones. I prefer ballads in country than all these anthems and rocking and shit. Yes, Stevie Ray Vaughan died Ron. in a plane crash, yeah. Yes, he did. I never got uh, into him. That was a loss. Oh my God, I love Stevie Ray Vaughan. This is what my type of one of <clears throat> one of if not the best guitar players of all time. The and there's a kid named Taj. I don't know if any of y'all have seen him play. I, 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 it's like he's Stevie Ray incarnate. He's 
Holy crap. I think he's 16 now, but I, I heard him play the first time when he was 12, and he's just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I can recognize talent in any genre. It's just I, I never could get into like the Stevie Ray and stuff like that. To me, it always, and this is just my impression of it. I pictured a bunch of people smoking weed and drinking beer all day, and that's, that's all I would hear in the background. I got so old. Russ Meadows says Taj is awesome. Yeah, Taj Ferrant is his name. Susie said Little Wings, one of my favorite songs. And yes, I've seen it. But yeah, I love, I love some Eagles. They got overplayed. Def Leppard got overplayed. I, I used to love them. <laughs> I'm jumping genres, but I, I just wanted to say the word. But I'd have never pegged you for a hairband enthusiast, Billy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, oh. the Hard to Say Goodbye by Boys to Men was... Uh, happened during a, a friend's brother died after getting a heart transplant and that that song stuck with me for quite a while and, and yeah the the acapello in harmony is awesome Susie says she follows Taj Andy Mike said, I'm old, never heard of Twisted Roots. I, I hadn't either, but <laughs> I don't know how Twisted Sister got to be popular. I mean, they looked like they were doing a parody of Makeup <laughs> Band. <laughs> You don't want to, you don't know what you want to do with yeah. your life. Yeah. I, I did like it, it the, was all the part price. Of the, it was all part of the glam rock thing. Yeah. I want you right. And I remember the first time I saw a poison, I thought, oh my god, they look like actual women. My favorite one from Poison was uh uh I won't forget you. I think is that what it's called? Uh, yeah. I don't think that's the name of it. I won't um, forget you, baby. Maybe it is. Uh, I wonder what, what Bon Jovi's doing. Lay you down and a better roses. Yes, yeah. yeah, uh, I won't forget you. But yeah, they they look exactly like a weenies. You look like a man. <laughs> Susie, Susie, said, Susie said she's dying with dandelion this weekend. Uh, all right, living with them would be better, Susie. <laughs> Susie said, I think I'm probably older. She said she dyes yarn using all natural products. You know, you don't waste all the daylight, you can make some daylight wine. That's true. Watermelon wine, watermelon vodka. I wasn't a big Elvis fan, but I liked Suspicious Minds. I like, I any artist, if I listen long enough, I could probably find one I like. I like when uh, Aaron Neville did uh, the Grand Tour. Andy Mike said, I'm sorry, I thought it was a band. <laughs> yeah. But Greg said, I dye my dandelions with 2,4-D. <laughs> I don't even know if I know what that means. I think it's probably uh, a, a, a herbicide. Oh. Ronnie doesn't dye yarn because she has so many allergies. Susie said, avocado pits gives you a pale pink color. I wouldn't have thought that. Uh, isn't it like a blue, bluish hue, like a blue-purple? It's a pale pink color. Oh, I'm dreading tomorrow. <sighs> I don't only get a drive for it, but then I get to work at home. <laughs> Where are you going? 
I have to go get the replacement head for my weed whacker and then uh, and figure out how to put it on. And then I got to mow and clean out gutters. Replacement head? Why don't you just get new wire for it? You just wind it on. No, the, the it won't extend the line anymore. There's something broke up inside of it. Onion skins die well, says Susie. Red onions? <sighs> you can't just die in it. She's gonna kill it. She's gonna kill it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't remember the last time I was this utterly, utterly unmotivated to do anything. Uh, three days ago. Oh, okay, thank you. Help another friend, man. <clears throat> I notice I smoke less when I'm working. Damn it. So maybe I should. Well, I will. I'll be exhausted tomorrow too. God dang it. You know what I've noticed? I've noticed that you work less when you're smoking. That's what I've noticed. <laughs> Hey, I made a nice, neat sign, though. I work, I, I work the same amount. Uh, Billy, I'm thinking about making other signs where this icon changes other stuff. I'll just surprise y'all with some of them. But I had it written in marker before, so I thought I should upgrade. <laughs> Barely got the energy to stand up. <clears throat> I, I would read what, Su what Susie wrote, but <clears throat> some of those words in, in, in evade my college education. She said, Connie, I use all natural. I don't use any chemicals. I. Mordant. Mordant with lichens and soy milk, usually. Hello, Robin. I think she's slipping into French or something. I, I don't, yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> I'm, or, I'm Mordant. I don't, know. I don't know what that Hello. is. Hello, All the other words I know, I know lichens because I majored in biology. But I, you know, I don't know what I don't know what a mordant is. Majored in what? Biology. <laughs> I, I, I were a scientist. Tis, tis. <laughs> I play a doctor on the interwebs. <laughs> oh, more dot equals prepare yarn to take color. Okay, thank you. Mike would like to know, Art, did you have a good weekend at the show? And Susie's, uh, I mean, uh, <coughs> Crystal said I will return shortly or longer. Longer yeah. or shortly? Yeah, it was a good weekend. I got one this weekend. This Saturday, the new one. Try it out. See how it goes. From nine to nine to three, but I got to be there at six thirty. Ooh. Well, Billy, I do it by myself, so it actually takes me about an hour and a half from start to finish. Oh, hey, dude, you, you ain't telling me nothing. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did those. I did those two at the end of last year, and ah. Uh, Mercy. I was supposed to do one uh, for the spring, the, 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 a spring one for that was, I don't know, a few weeks ago, but I wasn't, <clears throat> I wasn't feeling well and I didn't go. I got quite Probably a few. Gotta, I got two or three of them that are Saturday and Sunday this year. This was just an all-day Saturday one. It wouldn't have been that terrible, but I, like I said, I wasn't feeling real well, and I didn't want to drag the easy up out and all the tables and the chair and uh, hmm. box up all my crap and haul it over. God, if I ever had to go to a... See ya. I don't Annie. know how I transport it. Annie's leaving. Night, Annie. Night, Annie. 
Any of you okay? <laughs> John, you don't let anybody else talk? Good Lord. Right, I think John. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not stopping anybody at all. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I, th I thought maybe John went to the little scrollers room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to try to go to bed at a decent hour tonight and they probably get screwed up by something. Little scrollers room, eh? <laughs> scrollers and scrollies. <laughs> scrollers and scrunchies. That sounds like a western bar. Or western gay bar. Scrollers and scrunchies. Why the camera so far away, John? We can't see it. That's better. It's right there. How much further away has it got to be? <laughs> make it easier. Old eyes. There you go. Old eyes. <laughs> hey, wait. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I'll, I'll do you one better. We're about to there get inside go. the yarn. <laughs> Birdie. Cool. Julio, Julio. Yeah, it looks like about an hour's worth of work. God. Yeah. <laughs> Hold my beer. <clears throat> Come on, Buster. I'm falling. And I can't get it up. Oh, all there are these. I'm going to have to start yeah, to roll look better when I get some crayons and start filling it in. All right. Uh, That's gonna be cool. I put a link up for an after show hangout if anybody wants to go there. Uh, let me know. I'll just click on it and I'll be over there. All right. Okay. Um, in the meantime, thank, thank you for hanging out with us. And uh, wait, let me change my camera here. <sighs> Later, Greg. I love you Later, all. Susie. Later, Steve. you. Later, Liz. Later, Connie. Bye, Thank you for being everybody. here in the panel. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being in the chat and supporting us. And uh, take care. Have fun. Join us tomorrow for some more Daily Scroll. Take care and have fun. <laughs>